Hi guys, April here, owner of Fur Kids Boutique. So today's video, I wanted to give you guys a quick tour of the inside and the outside of the store. So first I'm gonna go through the outside. Sorry if it's a little too loud. Alrighty guys, so pretty much I can say this with all the remodelings of my store, I have had help from community and other small business owners. So I painted the awning black and white and before painting people always came in with the idea of thinking that this was a kids store. Let me tell you guys. So something I guess like funny you can say. People would get so offended when they would come in and you know, hi, how are you doing? You know, um, do you have pets? And they would right away, why are you asking me that? So that is why I also stenciled in their canine and feline couture and accessories. And I also added this sign here. It just gives it more of a boutique vibe for Kids Boutique by April Kuros. The lighting is new, the red velvet drapes are brand new and my art deco signage here I had that custom made it is metal and my favorite part as you are walking in you get a full view of the wolf head here kind of gives it more of that 1920s speakeasy vibe and dogs welcome people to Alrighty guys, now I'm gonna walk you through the entire store and kind of give you guys the back history of some of my vintage display pieces. So first things first, as you are walking in, you will see, you will see the box. This is Miss Iris Sherry. She is the owner of Fur Kids Boutique and the inspiration for the store. So as you're walking in guys, you get a clear shot of the two photo drops that I have here. So everything in store that you see, I had someone built, someone come create. This is completely new here. So this is a photo, sh photo shot here for the bigger dogs. So I have all these pictures here that I have printed out inspired by the 50s so this one here is one of my favorites because it is a pinup girl holding a piece of fabric cutting it while the dog is holding the little heart um thing to put the pins in a flapper because as you know i am obsessed with the 1920s and that is yes it is that is me and miss iris Alrighty guys, and as you walk in, you will see my step right in folks, Crazy Cat. So that actually used to be a speakeasy club back in the 1920s called Crazy Cat. I am not sure if it's an original poster. I did get it at an antique store, but it does fit the vibe for my store. And here on top, I have some vintage um, porcelain poodles that I have gotten at antique shows. And as you guys know, I am your personal pet stylist and I do carry fabric in store from designer to culture fabrics, fleece, holiday fabric, and character fabric and miscellaneous sports and my favorite, Halloween. So over here, guys, I do have, I do like to carry jewelry for dog mom, dog dad. There's always something here at for kids for both parents. I do also carry vinyl stickers pinup girls and dogs and yes that is miss iris and i and here in this display case i do carry dog charms for dogs they go clipped onto the collar and some rings for dog dad and some vintage findings for you guys so i'm gonna walk you guys over here to my creative area um, these are Venetian beads from Italy. These are necklaces for dog mom. Um, my poodle from the 1950s also got at an antique store. Some more charms for dogs. Bracelets for dog mom. Rings for dog mom. And with the jewelry, I do get a lot of the jewelry at 
um, antique places. So they are originals. Like these here are metal compacts from the 1950s. And so some of them do have the mirrors in them and then some are to be put, to put pills in them. And I do customize a lot of stuff, guys. So I do have patches here. People like to come in and do jean jackets or a custom bandana. I'm gonna walk you guys over here to my creative area. So these fixtures here, guys, this one here and this one here, and these over here were donated by a small business owner who unfortunately had to close. And so she donated all of her uh, fixtures to me super grateful and this here every little detail that you can see in store is inspired by the 1920s this is an art deco piece staff only so I actually had to put this door guys because I kept having people come in here and there's the boss she's just supervising um, people coming in here little kids or dogs and it's just way too much of a liability if someone gets hurt god forbid drops one of my machines um so this one here i leave it here i have two machines this one is two in one though embroidery and sewing i like to just leave it on the sewing i mean on embroidery because it's just so much easier for me to switch over to this one here so that one is strictly for sewing and this here guys is my valentine's collection handmade in store so you have the heartbreaker penguin vest because it has that end shape of a triangle the matching bow with the sweetheart dress that i also created in store it has swabaski crystals and pearls pretty much the same but as the heartbreaker but it is pink so I have that in store as well. Um, embroidery, I do a lot of embroidery, guys. I have a lot of colors that you can pick from. This is my office space right here. I love orange soda. <laughs> and over here, guys, I like to kind of think of this wall as my bougie designer inspired wall. So this here, um, harnesses from Mocha and Amigos. Love their products chanel jean jackets customized bling collars blankets pet carrier shampoo pink papyrus i love these waist bag holders um a fanny pack i mean come on now really i love how these sit on the body who could think that a dog can have much more style seriously and on top here guys i do like i said i do create a lot of the stuff in store so that right there is miss iris and my art deco dogs display pieces all these dresses were handmade in store that red lv inspired dress was made for miss iris and this fendi dress was made for her for her past birthday um sequin vest handmade in store dalmatians vest and dress and a ball ball gown dress my art deco dog right there and over here i have some more designer inspired apparel um miss marilyn monroe with the piccanese um all of my display pieces i for the most part got at antique shows i love antiquing and this here, I'm trying to fill up the wall. I'm calling it my wolf of wall fame. People will come in, drop off a picture, or you can mail me a picture and I will post it here and you'll be part of the wall. Get a dollar off your next purchase. And here, these are my 1950s dog display pieces. These are from the 50s and I've gotten these. This one I got at a estate sale and this one i actually just got him this weekend he is missing an eyelash but he's so cute and then over here my photo booth my employee slash sister and so mostly the do the bigger dogs or if dog parent wants to take a picture with dog will sit here and the smaller dogs will go in the airplane right there or they can even just sit in front of the airplane so my art deco lining back here. Um, this is brand new as well. I had this built, my wolf head. You'll see one here and there throughout the store. This is a pet boutique, so I do have things out all year around. My Halloween toys. 
and my speakeasy because you know every pooch needs its pooch so um also i got not sure where i got that from i had this bourbon sign my husband made it kind of just gives it more of that 1920s vibe so these are all rubber they all squeak blame and sin these are hilarious And then throughout the store, I do have gold dogs with the feathers. So, you know, in the 1920s, a lot of the feathers were used as pretty much everything and anything. And they just give it more of a pop. It is Valentine's, so I do have some stuff laid out. And this is my costume closet. Um, these closets here, this one and this one over here my betty boop these were custom made i had someone make them for me and i used to sell them but the guy retired so these are mine guys sorry i am not selling them i do have 1950s little postcards throughout the entire store as display pieces and then this here is probably my favorite corner at the moment um miss betty boop i or, saved Miss Betty Boop. I went to go pick her up at a vintage store, antique store in Burbank. She just fits so perfectly with all my Betty Boop stuff and perfect for photos. I have more posters here from antique shops, um, customized dog co up there. This here is my sample closet, just to kind of give people an idea of the things that we make in store. We also do inspo photos, anything from, we just did a wedding dress in December. I will post that, I will, and it is on my Instagram. This here was Miss Iris's dress for her seventh birthday. We, I threw her a party, <laughs> Secret Life of Pets. So that was hers. And then over here, I just have some dog socks, a teepee, and the goofy phone he actually does work i just it when it used to ring it would literally startle me just like this phone over here how i want to connect it so bad but let me just show you guys like i could be sewing and i will fucking stab my finger because it is loud so it works and it actually rings like this and it scares the crap out of iris too so she doesn't like it huh miss iris the balls. Alrighty, guys, thanks for watching. And if you want to follow us, we are on Instagram at Birkids underscore boutique. And we also are on TikTok, same thing, Birkids underscore boutique. Okay, guys, thanks for watching.